The John Paul II Center for Interreligious Dialogue hosted an event earlier this week on the importance of offering courses on interreligious dialogue. From the university to the field addresses issues such as preparing future generations of church leaders to be able to discuss issues with members of different faiths. Joining us now from Rome is Bishop John Bagna Bakeni, Auxiliary Bishop of Maduguri, Nigeria. Your Excellency, thank you so much for your time today. We really appreciate it. Uh, can you tell us more about this meeting and also what were some of the highlights? Yeah, the John Paul Center for Interreligious Dialogue uh, organized this conference, and uh, it has drawn uh, a good number of uh, fellows, products of the Ruth Salberry uh, Interfaith Foundation, uh, from different parts of the world, who are working in various fields of interreligious dialogue uh, to come here in Rome. Uh, to share their experiences, but above all, to look forward towards designing a new vision for this center and uh, the activities of uh, interfaith dialogue in our different contexts and in our different countries. And that is why we're here. And I understand, um, you know, as you had mentioned, that was one of the topics of the meeting, uh, how best can interreligious dialogue be taught and studied. Can you talk a little bit more about that and, and really why that's so important? Yeah, you know, interreligious dialogue is a science. And so as a science, you know, you need to, to know the methodology, you know, the approaches, you know, the disposition and how best to go about it. And as we always say, it is not an easy-going optimism. It's a difficult task, but also uh, very encouraging. So there is the need to have the theoretical, you know, knowledge, you know, but then to also have the space, you know, to implement what we learn and what we are taught. So there is a nexus, there is a connection, and, uh, uh, you know, so that you know, you know, what is ex expected of you and how to go about it. So there is, the, there is the need for it to be taught in our institutions so that, you know, students of interfaith dialogue are better prepared, they are equipped, we you know, with the basic tools. And then, of course, they are given the context and the space to implement it. So the two... You know, uh, uh, two real, you know, they can be divided, actually. So you need the theory, then you need the space for the practice. And before I let you go, I want to switch gears just slightly here. Um, wondering, could you give us an update on daily life for the faithful in Nigeria? I know it's very difficult over there right now with a lot of violence against Christians. Yeah, uh, the situation in Nigeria at the moment uh, is quite pathetic and a difficult one. And uh, the region and the state I come from, you know, has been in the news for the past 13 years, especially with the reality of the Boko Haram insurgency and then, of course, the realities of banditry and kidnapping now. So, uh, the you know, there is a cloud of, uh, of fear and insecurity that hovers over the entire nation at this moment, but more so for the Christians in northern Nigeria you know, who are being discriminated upon and are going through various forms of, uh, of persecution and difficulties at this moment. So uh, uh, the situation is quite uh, challenging and it's worrisome, you know, at the moment. So, but then uh, Christians try to live their daily lives, you know, to go about their daily activities. And uh, we, as religious leaders, we're trying to find opportunities, you know, where we can preach peace, where we can bring people together and then uh, uh, bring people of different faiths together, you know, so that we can uh, identify our common humanity and values. And then those should be our source of strength so that we can live as brothers and sisters. Uh, but uh, the situation is quite uh, difficult and worrisome at the moment, I must say. Well, we're praying for everyone over there. And thank you so much, Your Excellency, for joining us today and speaking with us. We really appreciate it. God bless you.